Who was Sitting Bull? Long before European and other outsiders settled on the North American continent, indigenous tribes lived and roamed the land freely. As colonizers came, however, this freedom came under attack, and many brave indigenous people fought back. Sitting Bull was one of these brave people, and today we are going to learn more about him. Sitting Bull was born in 1831, near the Grand River, in the area now known as South Dakota. He was a member of the Lakota tribe. First named Jumping Badger, Sitting Bull was later given the nickname Slow because of his calm and thoughtful demeanor and careful, unhurried personality. At the age of 14, Sitting Bull earned his now famous name in battle after knocking a warrior from a rival tribe off his horse with a tomahawk. Here's an interesting fact. In the Lakota language, Sitting Bull's name is Tatanka Ayatoke. Its rough translation is Buffalo Who Sits Down, which was simplified to Sitting Bull. It's pretty cool how Sitting Bull had multiple names, right? If you could be known by another name, what would you want it to be? Sitting Bull grew up during a time when the United States government was trying very hard to remove indigenous tribes from their ancestral lands. In fact, right before Sitting Bull was born in the year 1830, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act. This allowed the U.S. government the right to relocate all indigenous tribes living in existing states and territories to unsettled land in the West, using force if necessary. Due to tension between his people and the United States government, Sitting Bull spent many years battling U.S. soldiers. He also became chief and leader of his people. When gold was discovered in the Black Hills on Lakota land, tensions between the United States and the tribes increased. Soon, the U.S. government ordered the Lakota to move to reservations, which were small sections of land designated by the U.S. government for native use. This broke a treaty, or agreement, that the Lakota had with the United States government, called the Treaty of Fort Laramie. This treaty recognized the Black Hills as Lakota land. Because of this, Sitting Bull was prepared to fight for his home. Have you ever heard of the Battle of the Little Bighorn? Sometimes this battle is called the Battle of Little Bighorn or the Battle at Little Bighorn, but they all mean the same thing. Here is what happened. On June 25, 1876, a group of soldiers led by General George Custer attacked a small group of indigenous people from the Lakota and Cheyenne tribes. This attack took place in the valley of the Little Bighorn River. When the battle was over, Custer had lost. Here is an interesting fact. The Battle of the Little Bighorn is considered the U.S. military's worst defeat in their campaigns to rid the West of the indigenous tribes. After the battle, Sitting Bull moved his tribe to Canada until 1881, when he returned to the Dakota Territory. Even though Sitting Bull and his warriors won many more battles, they were eventually forced to surrender to the U.S. government. He would remain a prisoner, confined to a reservation until 1883. Later in his life, Sitting Bull was given permission to travel and he toured with Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Unfortunately, he encountered lots of mistreatment and racism during the tour, and eventually returned to the reservation, where he would be confined until his last days. Even though he was forced to stay put, Sitting Bull remained outspoken. Sitting Bull died December 15, 1890. Whoa, we have learned a lot about Sitting Bull. Let's see what you remember. What was Sitting Bull's nickname growing up? Slow. Fill in the blank. The Battle of the Blank Bighorn was the U.S. military's worst defeat in their campaign to relocate indigenous people. 
Little. True or false? Sitting Bull became chief of the Lakota people. True. Great work. Sitting Bull was an important advocate for indigenous rights and stood up for himself and his people. What are some ways that you can stand up for yourself and your community, like Sitting Bull? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.